Hi guys, today I am going to do the TMI tag, it's the too much information tag and I said that I was going to do this uh, when I did my ethnicity tag video but I was feeling too ill then because it's like 50 questions so I think I'm feeling up to it. I haven't actually read the questions because I thought that that would kind of, it would be too rehearsed or whatever so I'm just going to go straight in and read the questions and answer them at the same time if you see what I mean. I haven't kind of prepared my answers. So um, I've got the questions on my phone here. So I am looking at my phone, but I'm not checking my messages. I am checking the questions. So here we go. I am wearing a pink top, as you can see. I don't know if this is pink enough for you. It's actually a coral top and it's kind of draped like that. And it's quite kind of, it's got really lovely kind of bit at the bottom where it goes like that. So I think that's kind of cute. So I'm wearing that and just a pair of black leggings. And I think it meant clothing, because if it means makeup, then I am wearing, oh, I'm wearing a new foundation and a new blusher and a new lip gloss. So there's a lot of newness going on and it's all from the New Zealand's Active Color range. So um, I have got a blog post up about that one so I will link it for you below and you can have a look at the range. So that's what's on my face. So yes, been in love many times, never ever forget your first love. Oh my god, yes, horrible horrible breakup, didn't get over it for six months, didn't actually go out, didn't want to see anyone for six months but you know what, you get over it and um, you just have to move on. How tall am I? I'm not. I'm not. I told you many times. I am not. I am five foot two if I really hold myself up tall and straight. So you will always find me in heels. Well, that's a contentious one, isn't it? I don't weigh what I want to weigh. I would like to be 10 kilos less. No, I do not have any tattoos. Neither will I have any not for any other reason other than I'm just scared of needles. So I do think that they can be really, really beautiful, but I'm just too scared to go down that road myself. Well, I have my ears pierced there and there, just one on each side, and that was done when I was like tiny. I think I was maybe about two. OTP, I'm not quite sure what that means, OTP. I have to pass. Oh my God, I don't have a favorite show. I have so many favorite shows. I love Suits. I'm loving The Blacklist, of course. I love Friends. I guess if I had to choose one, it would be Friends because I've seen it so, so, so many times and I could still watch it over and over again. So yeah, probably if I had to choose one, it would be Friends. But at the moment, I'm currently loving all these American crime dramas. So um, yeah, take your pick. I'll probably love it. <laughs> I don't know if I have a favourite band. I just, I loved Maroon 5 and now they've kind of gone kind of off the radar a little bit. So they were kind of one of my favourite bands and uh, I, I, I like kind of loads and loads of different music so I don't have a favourite band as such at the moment. I miss my dad. I lost my dad two years ago. I miss my dad. Probably that new Paloma Faith one. And now I can't remember the name, but yeah, that Paloma Faith song. I'm old enough to have been married for 15 years and have three kids. I am a Capricorn and apparently I am a Capricorn through and through. What do I look for in a partner? I found it. Um, I like, I want to, um, Let's see, he makes me laugh, he is dependable, he tells me when I'm really way out of order because I could really push it, so yeah, he tells me when I'm out of order. And he's a great dad and uh, we have the same interests and we have the same interests in so many different things apart from music, I don't like his taste in music. Um, but, uh, for example, when we were doing up our house together, we didn't have a single fight about the furniture and kind of how we did the house up and the decor and stuff. So, you know, yeah, um, 
I just kind of basically wanted a male version of me. Is that really arrogant to say that? But you know, yes, that's what I wanted and kind of got that. Actually, my favorite quote is probably from my father, from my late father. And he used to say that variety is the spice of life and that if everyone was the same, the world would be very boring. Oh my God. Uh, in the old days, it was probably Cary Grant because I used to love watching all the old black and white movies with my mother. That's how I used to spend my Saturday and Sunday afternoons on the sofa, black and white movie, cuddled up to my mother. Um, but current favorite actor, I like John Cusack. Yeah, I will watch anything that John Cusack is in. Ooh, probably coral red. I'm kind of drawn to those kind of colors, corally red colors. Oh, both, depending on the occasion. I think uh, uh, both. When, when I'm sad, I tend to, I tend to retreat to my computer, to my laptop, which isn't kind of a place, I guess, but it's a mental place and I'm just, I don't know, where do I go when I'm sad? I drive when I'm sad. Um, I'll get into the car and I'll drive and I'll have the radio off and I'll have my phone switched off and it's just me and the car and silence and uh, yeah, so that's a hard one. Okay, who, I don't know who's thinking up these questions. Okay, so depending if I wash my hair, if I am not washing my hair, which I don't do every day, three minutes, if I'm washing my hair, I have to factor in the shampoo, shampoo again, conditioner, leave it in for two or three minutes, so I'd say about seven minutes, seven to ten minutes. Mornings are a bit of a rush in our house, so depending on what I'm doing after I drop the kids to school, that will determine how long it takes me to get ready. But if I'm just doing my normal routine, which is drop the kids, go to the gym, and then come back to shower, change, and work, two minutes, really, I'm just putting my gym kit on. I'm not counting skincare in that, right? Because that doesn't count, but you have to do that, so. I have a younger sister. I have spent my childhood having physical fights with my sister, but thankfully, we are okay now. A man that makes me laugh, yeah. Turn off, oh, oh God, so many, um, ew, ew, uh, smelly, smelliness, yep, like there's no excuse, have a shower, um, bits hanging out of your nose, ew, like bogey sticking out of your nose, uh, and oh, food stuck around your mouth, like eat, eat neatly and eat tidily. Is that enough? I mean, I have loads, but that's a good start, right? reason I joined YouTube was because I've been writing my blog for a while and so many people said to me get on YouTube get on YouTube it did take me two years because I just kept thinking no one wants to watch and maybe no one does watch so <laughs> I don't know I'm doing it now losing my loved ones I cry at everything so it's really hard to remember the last thing that made me cry I literally I cry at commercials I cry at movies I cry at Oh, I cried at my daughter's assembly this morning and it wasn't even a sad assembly, so ugh, go figure. I'm constantly telling my loved ones that I love them. So the last time I told someone was probably about two hours ago. My husband was just getting on a flight. So, you know, it was part of that conversation. Oh my God, my YouTube name drives me insane. It's just, it's just such an awful name. It's, as you can probably see, if you look up top, it says Super Amberina. And that's just because my son, when he was, I don't know, like nine, eight, nine, he decided to call it Super Amberina. And now it's stuck and I can't change it. And it is insane, I hate it. So anyway, luckily, if you search for Beauty Passionista on YouTube, it will come up. Okay, so I'm in two book groups. I just don't even know why, because I never get the time to read. However, I'm currently reading The Hundred Foot Journey. And I desperately want to read it before I see the movie. So I'm reading The Hundred Foot Journey, and I am about to read The Goldfinch. And that doesn't really answer the question, right? Because it said the last book you read, but I can't remember. So those are the books I'm reading right now. Oh, that's the next question. The book you're currently reading. I'm reading two books. Those are those. 
probably news night last night. Is that really boring? Sorry. Probably one of the school mums because we had a little coffee morning after the assembly. So yeah, one of those. Who did I last text? Hold on. Let me see. Last person I texted was, oh, oh, was a school mum who has bought a beauty gadget type thing. It's like a sticker that you put on your face that's supposed to kind of soften your frown line. So she's trying that out. So she texted me to say that it had arrived because she'd ordered it on Amazon. And I was just wanting to get a photo from her with the thing stuck on her face. I'm still waiting. My Indian food, if you saw the ethnicity tag video, which I will link for you below, it's the last tag video I did. Indian food, always. Oh God, so many places. Ugh, I think travel is such an amazing thing. Uh, I would like to go to Machu Picchu and I want to see the ruins there. Yeah. What does that mean abroad? The last place I was abroad was, well, Paris. And I did a Paris vlog, so you can see that down below. Um, so that, that's not very exotic, is it? But yeah, so Paris. I don't really have a crush. I adore my children. Is that a crush? I just love them. I'm just in awe of my children. I'm in awe of what they can do. I'm in awe of how quickly they grow up. So I don't know if that counts. I kissed my kids goodbye when they went to school. Is this getting really boring? Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's the last person I kissed. <laughs> I don't know. Does someone beeping at me at the traffic lights count? Because that's probably this morning. I don't like sweet things. I don't have a sweet tooth. Uh, flavor. Ugh, no, nothing. Sorry. I used to play the violin. I did it for a year. I... That was it, gave it up. Really, really wish I'd continued. W really want to learn to play the piano and my kids keep telling me they're going to teach me the piano but they don't even practice themselves. I'm not sure how they're going to teach me. Um, but I sing, so yeah. I don't play an instrument but I guess my voice is my instrument. It's a set that my mother gave me. It was something she wore at her wedding and then I wore it at my wedding and I love it and it's just kind of it's like a lace work choker made of gold and then a matching cuff that's about this thick and it's also a lace work one and it's got matching earrings and a matching ring and, and that and yeah so it's all gold no stones just beautiful lattice lace work well I did learn to surf or tried to learn to surf just now when I was on holiday and I tore this ligament in my thumb here. In fact, I'm going for an MRI scan tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get to the bottom of what I've done to it, but it is extremely painful. But that was the last sport I did was, I think I no more sports for me, that's it. I'm just gonna go to the gym and I run. So running, I guess. Probably an Oli Murs song, because they're so easy to sing along. Um, I can't remember what was on, it was whatever was on the radio. Well, it's got to be that one that you get here up north. I was in Manchester for university and the best line you get up there is, get your coat, love, you're pulled. <laughs> I've never chatted anyone up. At least I don't think I have. I don't know. Not, not, not on purpose, not consciously chatted anyone up. Well, I can't say my kids, can I? Because I've said my kids enough times, so... Who did I hang out with last night? I was with uh, Claire Ford and Holly Hope Harper from Claire Ford PR Agency and we were talking about some new colour cosmetics, the ones I'm wearing actually, from the Zellens range. So yeah, hanging out with, they're great girls to hang out with. Oh my god, um, like everyone that I subscribe to, I would love to find out more about you if you haven't done this video. So if I subscribe to you, please do this video and I will definitely be watching. So that was my TMI tag. I hope that I answered all the 50 questions. I think I did, um, but it's difficult because my phone keeps kind of scrolling up and down. Every time I went back to it, it was kind of a different, it was, I, you know, so hopefully I've answered all 50. And definitely if you do this tag video, definitely tag me because I would love to see what um, your answers to the same questions were. 
and if you want to kind of uh, get in contact or whatever I will leave all my social media links down below so I'm on Twitter and on Instagram and Facebook and obviously here on YouTube and I will also leave the link to my blog down below which I update daily with kind of new beauty stuff and I would love to hear from you and let me know what you thought of this video uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video because it just, it really helps me and it makes me feel all warm and cosy to know that you liked the video. So definitely do that. And I would love to know what other videos you would like me to film. So whether it's more tag videos, or more beauty videos or whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Oh, over the, no, on the parapet? I don't know. I should have looked that one up, shouldn't I? How long does it take me to get ready in the morning? Who asks a woman that? I mean, you know, that's just ridiculous. Turn on. It really is like too much information, isn't it? <laughs> food. Oh, I love food. How am I going to answer this one? And these leggings, but I'm not quite sure if I'm flexible enough to show you. Yeah. Is that... <laughs> Oh my god, I hate when my hair gets stuck to my lip gloss. <laughs>